Well, like, welcome again to uh, Sean Corcoran Video.com, everyone. I'm here with Brio Gaviola hey, today. Hey, guys, what's up? Hey, well, we met at the Art Institute of Las Vegas. Uh, we have different opinions on that school, maybe. <laughs> but maybe. Brio here is a big film buff. If there's a cinephile, it's him. And so, Brio, what is it about films that you love? So the thing I love about film is that, you know, the storytelling aspect. I think that film is the most powerful communication that we have. Um, it's like the way you get ideas across, even if it's fiction, you know, it still builds that bridge to a different world where people can feel empathetic about things that, or ideas that they never really would think of themselves. So it's a big, it's a great way to share culture exactly, amongst yes. different countries and people. Yeah, I found someone that's shorter than me, but you need to find someone too, because you need to find someone that puts up with your bullshit. Hey, I don't chase my women like I don't chase this liquor. Oh, man. So what would be your dream job then? Oh, my dream job would be an art tour, you know, to write and direct my own movies. You know, as an artist, I think I have a lot to share and could bring to the world, you know, so that's what I would love to do. Welcome to the Lost and Found. What's your poison for tonight? Whiskey. Neat. And keep them coming. So, what's the story? What do you mean? You've written a couple books mm -hmm. of poetry. Uh, what are you doing with those books? I'm taking those and turning into short films, you know, anything like I can create an aesthetic out of. You know, people say that they relate to a lot of my poems, so like I'm trying to build like a visual medium for it. Up all night, see the truth in tired eyes. Vigilante, that smile is my disguise. And I slay criminals with pretty lies. But karma kills me with the truth. All the pretty things throw shots that pierce through the bulletproof. Head in the clouds, say my name, say it loud. My favorite movie would be that one that got me into filmmaking would be Inception. Okay. You know, it's kind of like a mind-bending psychological thriller thing. You know, that's my, like my favorite genre. So like, that's what I would really like to do. Like keeping audience like trapped into like a scene, like feel that um, same sense that the characters are going through. Which writer would you say you think captures people into scenes the best? I think Christopher Nolan does a great job at that. I think he, his direction is always, you know, up there. Like, I'd say Dunkirk was one of those films that where he was, it makes you feel like you're in that, on that beach and kind of trapped in there and was like, you kind of feel what the characters are going through, you know, that sense of like never ending uh, battle. Did you happen to make it somewhere to watch that in actual IMAX? Yeah, I was able to watch it in, in at the Palms. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's not real IMAX. That's digital IMAX. <laughs> oh, I see. The what closest you're theater I we have, say. I think, to Vegas is somewhere in the Grand Canyon, which is kind of <laughs> weird. But it's unfortunate that in Vegas, the entertainment capital of the world, does not have an actual IMAX that's theater. That's true. I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Where's that? He's over there. Oh, he's over there. Good. Roll it. Roll it. Action! Help! What do you want? Help! Help! Anybody help! So what is one piece of advice you could give to any aspiring filmmakers that could be out there? After all of your experience, after all mm. the shorts, all the, all the studios you've worked mm. in, what's one piece of advice? One piece of advice I would share with uh, aspiring filmmakers is you know, keep going and be persistent and, you know, never give up on what you want to do. You know, anybody could say anything. Um, as an artist, you have to have, you know, the courage to kind of keep going after people try to shut you down or reject you. So, you know, keep your head up and, you know, keep making movies. I think courage is the big one because everybody's going to tell you you're not doing good or you're doing it wrong. But the only way you're really going to learn what works best for you is for you to do it. Definitely. You always learn from your mistakes. You know, don't be afraid to make, to make mistakes or don't be afraid to fail. So exactly. That's, yeah, that's the big one. All right. Thanks, Brow. Yep. Good luck to you. And how can people get a hold of you if they want to uh, contact you to work uh, with you? You can uh, reach me on my website, which is browgaviola.com. Or you can, you know, email me, browgav 
at gmail.com. I'm pretty sure all my contact information is on my website. So, yeah, or on Instagram, too. I was so. going to say, what's your favorite one? <laughs> Instagram. Every, everybody has their favorite social media. <laughs> all, right, all right, thanks, bro. Thank you.